I got canceled in the comment section on Brett's video for saying I want to be in re reincarnated as this beautiful Ascal um, like butter so I can live in Canada and blah 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 and dude the community was just so upset with me they're like yeah as if I said the n-word isn't the Philippine te one a team like a national team called the Ascals so, so yeah uh, from what I know street dog is Ascal that's what you say in, th in that's the Galug for street dog and, and I know butter is an ASCAL. I should know this. I should really know the difference, yeah. like, literally and, and between Aspen and ASCAL. And I think Aspen is, like, someone that's something, like, a dog that's, like, being nourished and, like... Mm -hmm. Mom, have you heard the word Aspen? Colorado. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what... So it is a woke word. It's, like, a new woke it word. Is, it is. Look, yeah, you guys can't hate on Will for that. Normal people all. don't Not know even Aspen. one bit. I, myself, only learned that through... YouTube comments. Exactly. Because so, mom, I got I got canceled for calling his dog an ascal. Apparently, you're you're not allowed to do that. Like really, people were upset. That's what they call it here. Not anymore. It's 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 mean now to call it. Apparently. So I had the same reaction as my mom when I heard Aspen. All I know is Aspen is a city in Colorado in the United States. So I Google ascal and nothing comes up. It just comes up as Aspen. So many things have changed um, like that. I, I thought, because when I arrived to the Philippines years back, I thought ASCAL was cool. I thought it was a really cool word. I did too. Because of the national soccer team. Yeah, I yeah, looked yeah. up to those guys and their ASCALs. And, you know, I want to be an ASCAL. I want to be an athlete. Um, and, and I thought it, it was uplifting street dogs to make them cool. Yeah. But well, now, it, uh, apparently, it, it makes... It makes a lot of Filipinos really upset if you call a dog an ass cow. It's ignorance. Yeah. I, I didn't know that I, I would offend anyone. You're, of course, but, you're not going to say it with the intention. But of there it. you go. Now uh, it's out there. By the late 20th century, dogs commonly seen wandering the streets were called as cow. Were called. It literally means street dog. But yeah. the Philippine Animal Welfare ah the Philippine Animal Wel Welfare Society paused suggested an alternative term Aspen short for Asong Pinoy Pinoy dog to avoid the stigma associated with the term Ascal. So, Aspen alang. So Aspen alang yeah. How is Butter doing? What happened? Because in the last video I saw, she was going through some like medical issues and stuff. Yeah. So one of the main reasons I didn't bring her is because a month prior to even making my decision to coming back to the Philippines. She like, dude, she just runs around our island all day long. Like there's no predators. We live on an island that is abundant with deer and eagles and all this stuff. Like she can just go, like when I go hiking in the mountains, I'm just like, do your thing. She goes all way for like 25, 30 minutes. Something happened and I couldn't figure out why she was screaming and yelping and her, her leg was all, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pain. P -Li. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. P -Li. And it kept happening. So every time she would sprint, she would just start screaming in pain. Like, had was like her leg up. and so That's started, difficult to watch, huh? It's super painful to watch because you can't ask them, what, like, what's wrong? So I, was, I, I took her to the vet and he was like popping her knee in and out. He's like, oh, it's immediately luxating patella. So her knee was just completely dislocating out of her socket, which you can only imagine how painful that would be as a person if your knee was popping out completely. And like, so vets, vets orders, doctor's orders, let her rest for, you know, six to eight weeks. And So she like dislocated her leg basically. Yeah, multiple times. Do you know how? No, like, no. I don't know, chasing deer, she chases It's deer. weird, you, you never think of animals as humans, like, pulling pulling muscles, tearing their ACL, or, like, dislocating their shoulder. Yeah. But I guess it happens, it huh? It happens, man, it happens. So, I was like, ah, oh, okay, you know what, maybe this is the good, the good time to take a little break from each other. Because it's been three years of just tending to yeah. it every day. And. And, and you talked recently about Butter's other issues. Like she had worms, she had parasites. Oh, when she was, when she, yeah, when she was here. Like oh. I, had to, I had to fix, a, try to fix a bunch of Did stuff. Did she have diseases, her. any diseases? She had some weird blood disease, which is pretty serious. Like your dog had a blood disease? Yeah. Some, Dude, that's I, good technology that they like are. are but I mean the out. language barrier at the time too, like being in, in, in Cagayan and taking her to the vets there and trying to understand like really what was going on. I, they 
I couldn't really pinpoint it to an yeah. accuracy of what it was, but there was a lot of stuff. Did you test her for cancer? Everything. She never had cancer. But uh, our friend's dog died of cancer, and dude, the dog was doing chemotherapy. No way. Like, really? Yeah. Damn. I didn't know that was a thing <laughs> for dogs. I yeah. thought they just like. Dude, the dog's up in chemo just like me. No <laughs> like, way. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately didn't, didn't make through. it but i think it's i think it's great that technology has our do- has dogs on chemotherapy nowadays yeah dude yeah we're lucky with the technology especially for like animals i mean that's good your your dog is clear of cancer but that it's crazy too that it has a uh, she has a blood disease she, she, she had oh was she cured had yeah imagine just like peeing and pooping blood all the time and uh yeah. st- yeah, her her intestines were always getting twisted and like worms and, and liver failure. And so right now she's just. If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.